Now let us join in prayer. Let us pray. As brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray with confidence and with faith to the living God. And as children of God, let us confide in our Heavenly Father who knows us so well. So into the depths of God's wisdom and understanding, we bring those with responsibilities towards others, all who have difficult, tough decisions to make. We remember the hard work of the many we take for granted, those in charge of factories or schools, hospitals or community services. Into the gentleness of God's healing love, we bring all who are in pain, those near and far, close or unknown, whose anguish we share, those whose pain is mental or emotional, those who are unwell or facing days and weeks of illness. Into God's tireless faithfulness, we bring any who rely on us for help, work, guidance or encouragement, those we care about and who are important to us. We bring those who need the prayerful support of others and those we're being asked to serve or introduce into God's love. We pray in silence now for our own individual needs and concerns, offering to God the very best of ourselves and trusting that God will weave his purpose through our lives, making perfect what we do and what we offer. Holy God, whose character is always full of mercy, hear the prayers we offer to you as we further pray the words that Jesus taught to his followers, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Amen.